everyone. Welcome to the Budgeting Sisters. I hope everyone had a great Christmas yesterday. Today we're going to do a quick, kind of like a December start to recap. So, I want to go through and see what we have left in here. This is our weekly spending. So, healthcare, we still have... Uh, looks like a dollar and a whole bunch of change. Yep. Move it a little bit. Hey, it's positive. We got some left. That's all that matters. We are definitely going to have to do some adjusting in this category um, come January. We cannot wait any longer. Um, the amount that it seems like I had allotted for health care to cover doctors and medicine, vitamins, supplements, all of that is not even close. So we've had to pull a lot from other things to add into this, but that's okay. That's what this month was about, was trying to figure out those expenses. So we'll talk more about that um, on the next video. Personal, hey, looky there, we have money again. Whoa, two whole dollars. And then housing is none and food. All I have in here is um, we had gotten a gift card from work. So that has a whole $22.82. But hey, it's money that I can spend on food and not have to come up with the money for. Um, speaking of that, oh. That's going to come in handy come the no spend January. So we'll keep that tucked right aside and make use of that later on. So let's put this over here for right now. We have $3 here that we can use for our savings challenges. And we'll throw this change into our jars. My sister April had just found a really cool um, change savings challenge. So, I'm going to be starting that come January. I'm excited to get that all printed off. So, those are all set. And we have $3 here. So, what we're going to do, we have $10 in this one. This was a last minute one. Um, it's a $50 savings challenge. I really want to focus on doing these throughout the next year. And that will be our emergency fund. $5 a week, $10 a week. We can figure it out. Um, I spend more than that going to the store. So it'll be all right. Um, what I'm going to do is we will take we're just going to color this little part up here and we're going to put one dollar over there so that way we know how much we did we're going to put one of the dollars in here that gives us eleven dollars into this challenge now this one, faith can move mountains, Matthew 17, 20 to 21. Each of these letters is $2. So we'll take this $2 and we will put it into here. So it's good to know that we have some change in here that we can um, use to make some if we need to swap out some money here. So we put $2 in here so we get to color one more letter on our thing here. I'm loving having these slow little amount uh, challenges because for me right now everything's so up in the air and I'm just trying to get by and track things and figure things out. Sometimes three dollars is all I can do and that's okay because you know what before this I didn't even have three dollars. And that was because it was just randomly being spent anywhere. So, you know, it's improvement. 
two, four, six, eight. So we have eight dollars in this one and eleven dollars in there. Now let's pull back out our binder. Okay, we're gonna pull back out our binder here. Let's see how much we got right now. We have five, 10, 15, 20. We have $20. Now, I know that is less than normal, but that is because um, bills are paid and I'm on vacation this week. So there's no real need to be spending a whole lot. We've got our medicine, so honestly, I don't even need anything in healthcare. Uh, let's skip personal for right now. Housing. Hmm, we just went the other day. We are going to be doing some uh, decluttering and things like that. So, you know what? I'm going to put $5 into housing just in case we need trash bags or totes or any random things like that while we're cleaning or organizing. You just never know. So, there's that. And food. Um, you know what? Let's go with nothing. If we need to, we can use our gift card and call it good there. We have plenty of stuff still in our pantry to use. We'll have left, we have leftovers from um, Christmas and Christmas Eve and all that. So we have plenty of food really in the house. So let's, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and go back to personal. I'm gonna go ahead and put five for each of us in there. And then if we don't spend it, fine. If we choose to, that's enough that would buy us a pizza or an extra snack and a drink at the store or whatever we choose. So if we don't spend it, we'll roll it over. If we do, fine, not a big deal. That still leaves us with $5, but like I said, Healthcare is okay. We just picked up all of our medicine and all of that. So, you know what I'm going to do? Going to call it good there. Take this five. And I'm going to go ahead and put it into here. Into this December savings challenge. I'm going to leave that one dollar there. Kind of use it as a challenge this week. To save four dollars out of here to finish off that five for December. And let's go ahead and fill in another five dollars. And I'm kind of excited that there's even this much in here. I didn't think I'd be able to do this much last minute in December. But hey, that's pretty cool. So right now we should have $16. So 5, 10, 15, $16. That's a start to an emergency fund. We actually have an emergency fund. It may only be $16, but it's something. <laughs> it is something that would get us gas if we need to, or groceries if we need to, or whatever. I don't know. Um, it's a start and that's all that matters is we are starting. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. Well, guys, I know this has been a quick, um, little cash stuffing. Again, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. April and I have some fun stuff coming up this week to get ready for 2024. So we look forward to hearing from you guys and what your goals are for next year like comment and subscribe down below let us know that you're in it with us through 2024 bye everyone